This tutorial will walk through the steps of requesting hotel rooms for your group as you attend the last leaders convention. From your main menu page after you've registered your adults and your student attendees, you will click on the button for hotel reservations. Uh, when you go there, you will see the menu for reserving uh, requesting hotel rooms. Uh, in the green section up here, there will chart that shows the number of rooms available. You will see the, the number of rooms available for your group to request for the Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. Uh, as long as there's a number there, you can request a room. Groups will have a specific uh, block of rooms for the first few weeks of registration, uh, and uh, that is based on the previous year's usage. And you'll have those rooms that are specific just for you for those first few weeks of registration. In early January, we'll release rooms that have not been blocked by anyone, and those will then be available for anyone that needs additional rooms or for those groups that had no rooms to start at the beginning of registration in early December. So in order to request a room, as long as there are numbers in those uh, spaces at the top, uh, if you go to request a new room, this will show you the form to complete to show uh, the nights that you want to stay, the type of room you need, and who's going to be in the room. Uh, so if we're going to go with uh, choosing the room type, uh, We'll choose King Room because there's only one person to choose from here. And they're going to attend all three of the main convention nights, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. And the days before that and the days following that are available at our hotels on a space available basis. The hotels will accommodate those requests as they can and honor the group rate uh, for those few days before and after uh, as, much, as often as they can, depending on availability. Uh, after you've marked the type room, mark the nights you want to do, you need to uh, indicate the attendees or the occupants of the room. Uh, so when you click the list, it will give you a list of all names that are not assigned to a hotel room at that point. Uh, the asterisk beside a name indicates that it's an adult. That's just for the, uh, helps the hotel know when they're making assignments. And it's also a, a, a good idea, it's best to make sure that the first occupant name on a room is an adult. Uh, sometimes we may have a family that's requesting two rooms and you've got, uh, you may you may have all of your kids going to be in a, separate, in a room by themselves but it's connected to a room that the parents will be in. Uh, go ahead and put names, uh, one, one parent name on each room and uh, just so that the hotel will have an adult to be accountable for that room. Uh, when we select the name, it will show there. Uh, if we have any special requests, we can type that into uh, uh, the section down here. Uh, if, they, if we need a refrigerator uh, for specific reasons, most hotel rooms do have a small mini refrigerator now, so you usually don't have to request that. Uh, but if you need to request it just to make sure you have to have something there for medical reasons, make sure you mark that. Uh, for those that are requesting a suite in the hotels that have suites available, if you have chose, chosen suite as the room type, here where it says request special room, when you click that list, <clears throat> it will give you the options of the various suite types at the hotels that have suites available. Uh, those that are attending our Memphis Convention, the hotel does not have uh, suites available for the groups to book. And for Louisville, the process at the hotels there is on our the Louisville information page of our website. Uh, the Marriott has a, a link to book it directly through them online, and then the Hyatt will have a uh, an email address there to contact a hotel regarding any suite needs there. Uh, so those are the only two locations that are handled specifically through. Uh, with the hotels versus through our website, through our online registration portal here. Uh, you have the opportunity uh, to request connecting rooms. Uh, if you check this box and then enter the name of the person that's in the other room, always list the first name that you assigned uh, to that room just so that they'll be able to reference that uh, more easily. Uh, then if you have any special needs that need to be made aware of, such as maybe latex allergies or you need to be on a low floor because you're uh, of, of fear of heights, things like that, make sure you get, uh, enter that information here into this section for the additional special requests uh, that are not addressed above. Uh, when you've re 
marked all of those things and have that all requested, all you have to do then is hit Save Changes and it'll come back to the main menu. And you'll see now at this point how many rooms are available, which is none for this group at this point, and you're set for that. If you need to make adjustments to it before registration deadline, go back to update a room, choose the room, hit update, and it goes back to that same page and you can make those requests at that point. If you need to cancel that room, the same thing, you hit cancel, choose the room, and then verify that cancellation. Uh, that will conclude the hotel reservation request section, and thank you very much.